Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have some sad and shocking news for you. Someone swiped my credit card and went on a wild online shopping spree where they bought many fountain pen items that I personally have been eyeing and then sent them to my home in my name. So I don't know what else I'm supposed to do except open and enjoy these items. <laughs> so um, I don't know what happened. I think I was doing some sleep shopping. You know, you've heard of sleepwalking, but I was sleep shopping. So many, many packages have been arriving at my home and I have not yet opened them, but I would like to open them for you. And I think there are probably too many of them for me to open all at once. So I will probably have to break this up into several videos, but let me show you the one that I would like to open first. Ironically enough, it's not any of these that are on that are in the camera frame right now because it, it really wouldn't fit in the frame. And I hope my address wasn't visible during any of that, but anyway, I'm sure you're all wonderful kind people who would never do anything to um who would never do anything to me. What am I trying to say? I'm looking for something to cover up my address with. Alright, so this is the first box that I would like to open. I have already slit the package open, but um, let's see what's inside. And I don't know if you can read that. This is from Endless Pens, and this is not my first purchase from Endless Pens. I have purchased from them before, and they are a very dangerous website because they have wonderful sales, and you can sign up for their... Um, I guess you sign up for their emails and they send you codes and you get even bigger discounts and oh my goodness, I love sales and I love discounts so I should never ever go to their website again <laughs> because it's just a really dangerous place. But here is their lovely card, Endless Pens, The Right Side of Life. So cute. And there is all of their info. But yes, if you're looking for a deal. I highly recommend Endless Pens. So I'm just going to take everything out of the box here. And they do wrap everything individually, so it really is like Christmas. It's so cute. It's so much fun. All right. So you can probably... Well, maybe you can see what this is through the plastic wrap. Well, let's see what we've got here. I might need to get some scissors. Let me see. Hmm. Okay, looking for my scissors. It is very well taped. I don't know. Do you want to watch me cut through the tape? <laughs> I don't know how how exciting this is for people. Oh, and I'm making the camera shake. Um, I, I have to let you know, I have to be honest with you, I have been filming everything on a folding TV table, but I feel like it's time to upgrade my situation and move from a folding table to an actual table. So that is what I'm going to be working on this weekend trying to get my camera set up on an actual table because my little camera rig that I have is um, clamped onto the TV table. So I'm trying to figure out how to clamp it onto my dining room table. And my goodness, this is taped up securely enough to survive a nuclear blast. Oh my goodness. I think they could have just... <laughs> They could have just flown over my house and dropped this out of an airplane, and I think it would have survived. <laughs> I don't know why that strikes me as funny, but it does. It makes me think of the Amazon, um, what are they called? Not droids, drones, the Amazon drones that are going to be dropping things on us from the sky any day now. And I, I've seen the commercials where the drones come with the little baskets attached and drop things off at your house and it will be no time at all before people are using slingshots to knock those drones out of the sky. 
Oh, you've heard of porch pirates. Next we're going to have drone pirates. But I digress. Alrighty, well. So, ooh, all right. So, you can probably see what that says. Ferris wheel press. These are my first Ferris wheel press inks. I do have a couple of samples, but I've been enjoying my samples and Endless Pens was having a lovely sale. So I decided to treat myself to some Ferris wheel press ink. And this one is Jelly Bean Blue. And this one is Tanzanite Sky. And if you're familiar with these inks at all, you will know these are enormous bottles. But look, it comes in this cute little bag. And that, that bolt lid is just fascinating. So there is Tanzanite Sky. I don't know what they were going for exactly with these bottles, but I think they look like Christmas ornaments. Does anybody else think that? Doesn't that look like it should be hanging on my tree? Although this is much, much too heavy. Ooh! But Ferris Wheel Press, if you're listening, you should come out with a line of Christmas ornaments. Christmas ornaments in the shape of your ink bottles. Oh, that'll be the hot Christmas item for 2020. Okay, so that is Mr. Tanzanite Sky. And here is Mr. Jelly Bean Blue. Ooh, even the bag is blue. Isn't that pretty? And there he is. It's very hard to see the ink inside. These must be tinted bottles. Or maybe just the ink is really dark. I don't know. But that is beautiful. And of course, I love ink in whatever container it comes in. If it just came in a mason jar, I'd be perfectly happy. But I'm always impressed when companies have really thoughtful packaging like this, like these little bags and these pretty boxes. Cynical people might say that that just adds to the expense of the item, and it probably does, but it's all part of the experience, so I enjoy it. All right, so I'm going to start opening these wonderful, mysterious boxes. I do have to say, I have ordered some things to give to other people, so if I suddenly whisk an item out of sight, you will know that's intended for someone that I don't want to be watching. It's intended for someone that I don't want to see in case they're watching the video. And I'm just going to cut through this paper rather than try to pick off the tape. Are you one of those people that opens your birthday presents piece of tape by piece of tape and it takes you an hour to open every package? <laughs> you have to prolong the moment. I understand that. But in the interest of time, I will not be doing that on camera today. All right. So here we have some more Pelican Edelstein ink. And again, Endless Pens was having a fabulous sale on these inks. And if you are a previous viewer of my channel, you will know that I had a very interesting, if not tragic, experience <laughs> with Tanzanite ink. So I'm trying some more of their blue inks. This is Topaz and Sapphire. And the golden rule in fountain pen use is never buy an ink without trying a sample first. However, I, I'm a rule breaker. <laughs> I never follow the rules. So I get samples and I don't use them and I buy bottles of ink without getting a sample. So that looks like it's going to be a beautiful turquoise. And again, these are some sturdy bottles. Very nice. So, again, if this got dropped out of a plane... No, no. Please, please don't drop anything out of a plane for me. <laughs> I do want everything to arrive in one piece. So that is the topaz. And here is the sapphire. And, yes, I am a fan of blue. I love blue ink. I've hardly met a blue ink that I don't like. Ooh, and can you see that? It looks like a really dark purplish blue. I think that one's going to be beautiful. And why am I repacking all of this stuff? I don't know. Have it, I suppose. I do keep all of my inks in their boxes. 
Oh, I feel like my, my boxes here are blocking my light. Let's see, are we creating some shadows? I don't know, it's hard to tell. All right. So. Ooh. Noisy, noisy, noisy. So we have some Lamy ink. And some more Lamy ink. So um, these are in the Lamy crystal line. This is the obsidian. And I never really think about black ink. I have one of those gigantic bottles of Noodler's uh, Heart of Darkness. And I love it. It's, it's a nice, dark, saturated black. So that's my black of choice. And I never got any other black inks until my mix-up <laughs> with, uh, with, the, with the Pelican Edelstein Tanzanite. So I ended up with a bottle of, um, oh gosh, is that one called Obsidian 2? I can't remember. Anyway, the, the bottle of black ink that I accidentally purchased from the Norfolk Stationery. So now this, this is my third bottle of black ink, my goodness. But this is Obsidian. And I saw this on Chris Sines' channel, and she was using it in one of her pens, I think this month or last month, I can't remember, but it was such a pretty, such a pretty black. I mean, that, that sounds weird. It sounds weird to me to be saying that a black was pretty, but it was a very pretty black, so I'm going to give it a try. And by the same token, I saw on her channel this bottle of um, Lamy... What is this? I think it's pronounced Benitoite. I remember seeing on a Goulet video, they were going around to the staff members, asking them what they had in their pens. And one of them said, Benitoite. <laughs> and then she's like, no, 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 it's, it's Benitoite. So I think this is Benitoite. So very, very interesting. And again, these these two colors, I never would have thought about them until I saw them on uh, Chris Sines' channel. And in use, they're beautiful. So you never, you can never judge an ink just by a picture on the internet. I shouldn't say that. You shouldn't dismiss an ink based on the pictures on the internet. But here I am buying inks sight unseen. I, I should have gotten samples first, but again, they were having a great sale, so I couldn't pass it up. All right. Ooh. So there is one Shikiori. Two Shikioris, three Shikioris, and four Shikioris. Yes, someone please send help. <laughs> please stop me. Again, they were having a great sale. What can I say? I, I've been really enjoying these, these Shikiori inks, and oh, they were on sale. I went crazy. I lost my head. I never need to buy ink again for the rest of my life or the next life. I'm, I'm my grandchildren. I, I will be bequeathing this ink to my to my um, to my offspring and to their offspring. Generations of people will be using my ink collection. This one is um, Shimoyo, Shimoyo, which seems to be a lovely dark blue, and he has a little colored dot on his box. And this one is Yozakura, which is kind of a pinkish color. And I don't normally go for these colors, but, you know, it was on sale, so hey, I, I might like it. <laughs> I think I'll like it. I've really been enjoying these Shikiori inks. Oh, where is my... Letter opener. Hmm. I've lost my letter opener. My ever faithful letter opener. Well, shoot. I can't talk about this without my letter opener. Okay. 
I have to find my letter opener. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So, I suddenly feel like I have talked about this before, and if I have, please forgive me. But if you've never heard this before, then this will be new to you. I was watching a video on Inky Rock's channel, and if you haven't watched her channel, please do. She has wonderful videos about the fountain pen lifestyle in Japan. But she went to this wonderful, wonderful ink sampling party where they had every ink you could ever think of and a bunch of inks you'd never heard of before. And you could sample them and use a dip pen and write with them. And the the salespeople there were opening boxes by sliding something under the lid like this and then pulling it forward and pulling up. And that way it, it gets the lid out of these little notches and you don't tear it. And I thought that was so brilliant. So, you know, I have ripped many a box, not just for fountain pen ink, but for lots of different things. I have ripped the box trying to get the lid open because those little notches get caught. As they're supposed to get caught, they're supposed to help keep the lid shut. But when you're trying to get it open and you can't get the notches, you know, untangled, then you can rip them. So now I know how to open the, the, lid, the top without ripping it. Ooh, so this is, um, I think this is Nioi Sum Sumir, Nioi Sumir, which is a beautiful bluish purple. Ooh, I'm really going to like that one. And I think this one is Miruai, Mirai. My, my Japanese is not very good. I had a disastrous semester of Japanese my freshman year in college. It wasn't even a semester. I lasted for two weeks in that class. So, very bad memories of Japanese class. All right. And that is a lovely green. Oh my goodness, look at them. Aren't they so pretty? Oh, I love it. Okay. Oh, I think I know what that is, and we're going to put him aside. Okay, still trying to open these packages here. I do love that they wrap them individually because it just making it makes opening your box so much fun. This is a Sailor Manio ink, a Kebby. And I think I saw a video online recently where someone was complaining that their Manio label was crooked. And this one does look a little crooked, but, you know, I don't care. Again, if, I, if they sold ink in a mason jar, I would be perfectly happy. Mason jars are sturdy and leak-proof, so it's okay with me. Yeah, see, now that that person has mentioned that the label was crooked, I'm looking at this label, <laughs> and it's off-center. And I'm noticing that it's off-center, but I really don't care. What I care about is right there, all that liquidy stuff inside. So it's beautiful. That looks like a, a kind of a dark plum color. And I've really enjoyed the Manio inks. I, I've only just started using Sailor inks. And I am really impressed with them. They are just wonderful. Okay. Here's our last package. Ooh. Ah. My good old buddy Waterman ink. I have a bunch of different Waterman inks, but I don't have the Inspired Blue. And again, big sale. So I couldn't resist. So this is a lovely turquoise. So I will add this to my Waterman collection. I've been using these in my vintage pens and I really, really like them. The colors are beautiful and they clean up so well. And they're just nice inks for any pen, not just necessarily for vintage pens. Okay, so I have this little mystery package which is going to somebody else, so I'm not gonna reveal what that is. And this is a Lamy pen, but oh, and look, there's converters. But I have plans for this pen too, so I'm going to save this for another video. So that is going to be all for this video. Um, and if you're interested in me swatching these inks, I would be more than happy to do that. In fact, I will probably do that even if nobody says they want me to do that, because I really enjoy swatching inks. 
So um, stay tuned for some ink swatching and for some more unboxings, and I will see you next time. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.